There's no disputing that the Canon R3 is jam-packed full of incredible features. If you've been salivating at the mouth after watching many recent videos on the EOS R6, but then found out that you'd have to probably sell your house, or if you've got the money, far for a divorce, if you were to actually buy the camera. Also, the Canon R3, if you don't know the price, is almost £6,000. I've made this video today to give you a different perspective or a different angle on the Canon R3, and hopefully you'll go away from this video feeling pretty good. But before we get started though, please hit that subscribe button and help Ben's Guide grow on the YouTubes. I'm currently shooting the video today and taking photos with the best value camera Canon have released, in my opinion, probably in the last year, and it cost me £4,000 less than the Canon R3. It shoots 4K up to 60 frames per second, full HD to 120 frames per second, shoots 20 frames per second in burst mode, can record C-Log3, outstanding autofocus, and shares the same sensor as the Canon 1DX Mark III, which is also priced at about £6,000. This camera is the Canon R6. What could you do with the extra money that you would save not buying the R3? Well, you could buy another Canon EOS R6. That's two of them. And an RF 24 to 70 mm f2.8. That's two cameras and one lens. You could buy a Canon R5, a Canon R6, an RF 50mm f1.8, an RF 35mm f1.8, almost for the same price. Or you could buy two Canon R6s and go on a holiday abroad. Everybody happy. If you would like to know actually how the Canon R6 performs, I've put together a great little review on it. Go check that out by clicking the box round about here somewhere if that tickles your fancy. While I was watching lots of promotional videos for the Canon R3, it also got me to asking myself, how many of those features on the R3 that I currently don't have on the Canon R6 would I actually use? So the eye autofocus control looks like a super cool feature. You can change between the eye autofocus point between subjects just by looking at them. There's no doubt that this is really, really cool, but I could switch between my subjects with my joystick on the R6. I could select the eye of the other subject and it's not as cool, but it effectively and essentially does the same thing. 4K at 120 frames per second. Everybody loves buttery smooth slow motion. Just ask Peter McKinnon. 4K resolution is great at 120 frames per second, but I find myself using 60 frames per second most of the time anyway. That's because it's too slow 120 frames per second to shoot all of your B-roll footage at. This of course is person dependent. So you may actually like to shoot at 120 frames per second and this might be a bigger deal for you. 30 frames per second, the Canon R3 has an electronic burst mode of 30 frames per second. Whew. Lightning fast. The R6 and R5 shoot at 20 frames per second electronic. Now I nearly always shoot at 12 frames per second anyway. Why, you may ask? Well, it's because it's nearly always quick enough for just about everything I want to shoot. And there's so many photos to delete when you're shooting at 20 frames per second. It's very annoying and time consuming. So 30 frames per second, ooh, that's gonna be a lot of photos. Subject tracking, currently the R6 and R5 track people and animals, it's brilliant. The R3 has taken this a step further and now it tracks vehicles. This is one feature I personally am very interested in on the Canon R3, but not for £4,000. And I do think that this could be very well some kind of, I don't know, firmware future update for the R6 and the R5. 6K RAW at 60 frames per second. Another great feature, but one I'm not bothered by. The R6 shoots at 4K downsampled from 5.1K and it looks gorgeous. Will 6K look better? Probably. Will you be able to notice it looking better? Doubtful. There is really no doubt that the Canon R3 is a truly stunning camera. Canon have done a wonderful thing by creating it, but I'm not going to spend £6,000 almost on a camera I just won't use the extra features on. And just because it's the latest and the greatest model out there. There may be some of you watching this now thinking, 
I don't care. I don't care what Ben says uh, because I just want to get an R3. And that's really good news because otherwise there wouldn't be a market for the R3 and Canon wouldn't be creating it. Also, they wouldn't be innovating and at the moment wouldn't be probably the best camera company out there. Don't throw the stones, Sony users. So I want to know, are you going to buy the R3? Let me know in the comments below. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. I'd love to have you join our community here at The Ben's Guides. Check out any other camera videos that you might want on the channel or the ones showing around about here and whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys. Make sure you have a good one and I'll see you in the next video.